In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Best Sellers tool within the Ali Inspector software. So what this does, it analyzes the Best Sellers section within the AliExpress website. Now I can never really find it all the time, so I end up just going to Google here. So just quickly go to Google, and I usually type in AliExpress Best Sellers. Come up here, and you'll see it here. So you'll see a whole bunch of uh, best sellers within a whole bunch of different uh, categories here. And so what I've done here is I've created a better way to, excuse me, a better way to view all of these products really quickly and all the information you really need when you're looking uh, for possibly selling these products in your e-commerce store. So what we've done here, let's go ahead and just make this a little wider. So. What you can do is you select one of the categories, you can select all, and it takes the top 100 from the all, or you can go ahead and select here. Um, only a maximum of 100 will be returned because that's their limit in their system there. So let's go ahead and just select electronics and click go. And so it found 67, so it's going to go through and grab all of them there. And what it's doing is downloading the title, uh, telling you the electronics, the, that's the category we selected, uh, the product ID, the price. Um, the ship, and then a whole bunch of shipping information, which I'll specifically uh, explain here. Uh, there's some really important things you need to know for when you're trying to um, basically sell e-commerce products, um, specifically from the states actually as well. What you want to know is whether or not there is any free shipping. So that's what this column is here. I'm just trying to get a little wider there. If there's free shipping available, what is the provider? So you can see down here, uh, you've got ePacket. ePacket is basically um, the, I guess, Asian um, or China version of FedEx or something like that. It's their shipping provider. Anyhow, there's ePacket and it tells you this AliExpress standard shipping. And these are all the um, shipping providers that provide free shipping. And then the uh, free provider delivery time. So this is this column here will tell you um, how, how many days it will take to deliver the package that you order to your customers. So this would be 12 to 20 days or 19 to 39 and this is for the free provider now over here uh, people um, really want to know whether or not these products offer e-packet so you can see here these are the ones that offer the e-packet so yes or no and if they do offer e-packet what is the e-packet rate some of them won't be free some of them will be some people just prefer using e-packet no matter what just because it tends to be the fastest delivery time so this is a real quick way of seeing immediately which products have um, the e-packet and what the rate is and the delivery time so you can just right at a quick glance you can see all this information real fast uh, the unit type whether it's a set or a piece uh, the number of orders that people have done um, for buying that product so if there's a lot of orders and you know that this is must be a pretty popular item sold among e-commerce stores so that's a really important metric to know as well as the rating from all the people that purchased those products so it's good to look at having uh, products that have high rating I would recommend over 4.8 to 5 you know um, the reviews you can see the number of reviews that it's had and also you have the link to the store so you can actually click right through the product here and take a look at the product or you can click right over to the store and all their products that they list. So that's all the store here, store stuff. So that's what you have there. So now what you can do with this data is you can click the preview button if you'd like and this will create an HTML document and save it on your computer and you can quickly see in your web browser all of the items pictures and kind of like a little interactive convenient uh, chart or uh, table here so you can actually sort the table as well. And you can see items per um, show all these entries and you can also do an instant search in here as well so let's say you just type an iPhone and it will instantly return the items that have iPhone in it and it searches all the um, the columns so that's a cool little feature to have and you can also do an instant search here so if you want to search by keyword and all of the columns that have text in them and I've added this little feature here so if you click on this it's a little drop down and you can actually select the columns you'd like to search in. So let's say for example you want to start searching for a word, let's say I don't know, the word free I guess, something like that. And it will search in all of the columns that contain text like that. And if you don't, don't want to include let's say the, um, 
that column or this column, you just select that and it'll just automatically update for you. You can select the column you just want to search in. Let's say you just want to search in just title and that's it. So you can just do that and you can, as you type it will search for you and it will filter down the results to 29 there. So that's what you do. And if you want to add more filters, you can actually select the top here. So you can select, I just want to see, um, let's just remove this if we don't want to use, let's take that and remove it. And we want to search by price. We can just do this little uh, quick filter drop down and we want to see all the, all the products are less than 20 bucks. And let's say we want to see delivery. I want the delivery time for the free provider to be less than 15 days. And now, boom. And you see they're all e-packet. These products could be really good. Then you come over here. You can see the ratings that are high. The ones that have good reviews. This one has a lot of orders. So this could be a potential product. Let's go ahead and check out what that one is. Um, an atomizer. Not even sure what that is. Oh, I guess for e-cigarettes. Oh, okay. So that seems to be a, a, prop, a product you could possibly sell in the e-commerce store. So you can see how just incredibly uh, fast it is to narrow down your results and find a bestseller. Remember, you're searching in the bestseller section already. Then we're just narrowing down uh, specific products to based on what you want to see here. Uh, going further here, you can actually uh, save the data to a project file. Now the project file is specific to this tool. So if you save this project file to your computer, you'll see it's Ali Inspector bestseller project file. That means you can only open that file within the bestsellers tool. So you can't open it within the keyword tool or the oh, sorry the keyword search tool or keyword generator tool. It's only specific to this one. And then you can load previously um, saved files. You can also export the comma delimited file where you can open up in Excel or other spreadsheet programs, um, plain text, or you can also export to interactive HTML file, which basically is that preview file. So you can go ahead and save it like this. I've also added these two features here. We can always, if you forget where you saved your last file, just go ahead and click that and it'll tell you where you bring up your Explorer and, or in on the Mac, I'll bring up the version of the Explorer on there, I forget what that's called. And um, you can see the bestsellers report that we just saved, then other, other files we saved there. And of course, you can save it anywhere on your computer, and it will always remember the last working folder that you saved or opened a file from. Now, if you right-click, we've got some options here that's really cool and very powerful. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So you can go ahead and you can select I copy items you've selected. So if you select a whole bunch of stuff like that, and you go right-click and copy selected items. And then when you have like a um, text file, if you right-click and paste, you can see those items we copied. Or let's say you just wanted to right click and you want to select all the product links. So click that and just get rid of that. Right click, and paste. And you'll have all the direct product links for that um, for your selection there. And that's kind of handy. Um, if you want to auto fit all the columns, so you want to see everything, like we just auto, auto fit so you can quickly see all the data real quick. Or you can go ahead and reset the columns back to small again. You can also search by the keywords, uh, search Google for the title. So it sticks in the title of that product that was selected and it will search the internet so you can quickly, or Google, so you can quickly see where it's being sold and um, compare prices and things like that. Now let me show you another very powerful tool here. If you right click, you can select download and you can download the product images and description or you can download the 50 best product reviews into a comma delimited files specifically for importing into Shopify. So let's go ahead and look at this one here. So if you've got a, um, an e-commerce store within your WordPress using WooCommerce or something like that, then you can download the product images and description so you can easily just copy and paste that stuff into your store or into your Shopify store. So let's go ahead and select that. So first you gotta select a product. Um, doesn't matter what cell you select or how many you select, it always just takes the first one. So right click and go download product images and description. It'll ask you for where to uh, put it. So I'll just, um, I created a folder here called save. So let's click in here and select folder and it will download everything. It will automatically bring up your Explorer and show you the product or the images it downloaded. And if you double click this file here, there'll be two files created. 
one called product contents and one called product description.html. So the product contents, what it does is the software will put a bunch of information in here. So this is the title, the link to the product, the category it was found in, the price, the item specifics, so like uh, time to market, um, the dots per inch, I'm not sure what it's for, uh, product status in stock, battery type, just a whole bunch of information here that you may need for your store. It looks like this is some sort of uh, gaming mouse. What is this? Uh, computer mouse, I guess. Okay. So some packaging information as well as a description. So what the software does, it attempts to find all of the text within the description and cleans it up for you so you can easily just read it and use any information here. Now I do want to give you a big tip here. I really highly recommend when you're writing out your descriptions for your, your e-commerce store is to write the descriptions in your own words. So read this and then rewrite it yourself. Now the reason to do that is if you just go ahead and copy these descriptions, um, then you're basically using uh, duplicate content and, and Google and other search engines, whatever, they don't like duplicate content that much. And it's just better to write it in your own words. It makes it a unique content on your site. It'll just increase the SEO value of that actual listing in your in your website or Shopify store. So it's a good idea, a good, good practice to do that. And same with the title as well, sort of rewrite it. And in, to be honest, <laughs> most of the, the, like the copywriting on AliExpress is horrible. Like, I don't know who they're using for copywriters on there, but a lot of these people that ha are selling these products, their first language is not even English. So um, you could see that's really broken English most of the time. So it's a really good idea not to just copy and paste because then it'll make your store look kind of unprofessional when it, you know, have a whole bunch of spelling mistakes or gram grammatical mistakes or whatever, grammar mistakes inside your, your copy. So you definitely want to go ahead and double check that and write it in your own words. Now this one here, there'll be times when you open this up and you may not find any content here because some of the descriptions um, actually don't contain any text, it's just all images. So in that case, I created this other file. So if you download, if you click on that, it'll show you the full description all in HTML. You can see actually a lot more images located in here. And so you can use the content of this. This is just the source code. So you can actually just open this up in... Um, for example, a text file, you can just drop it in there and you can see this is the plain HTML content. So you can utilize that, whatever you want to do, if you want to plug it in, parts of it or something like that, into your uh, e-commerce store, you can probably just plug right in your HTML in there, then in your store you can just go ahead and edit it in the HTML editor within WordPress or within Shopify. So that's what that feature does. Now, another thing that's really handy is you right click and you want to download the 50 best product reviews. So what it does, it goes out and finds the five star product reviews and it puts it into a comma delimited file that you can import into your um, Shopify store. So it looks like this and you can see all the columns here. Now this is specifically formatted for Shopify import. So you can see you've got the title, I'll get it into view here title, author, email, body, and obviously the email is not provided on AliExpress for all the authors, but uh, that's okay. So if you just head on over to Google, Google and you type in Shopify import reviews, you'll see this come up here, importing and exporting reviews in Shopify, and you can see that if you want to import your reviews, you make sure it's in CSV file and go to the product review section page, click import, choose the file and import and that will import your reviews into your store. So that's basically everything um, about the best sellers tool. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.